All right, let's solve this differential equation. We have y double prime plus 4y equal 0. Now, there's nothing on the right-hand side, so that simplifies our life a lot. It's a homogeneous equation, so let's go ahead and find the characteristic equation. Here we have it, r square plus 4 equals 0. Make sure you don't accidentally put an r instead of the y as well. Okay, so r square plus 4 equals 0. Let's find the roots. r1 and 2 equals plus minus square root negative 4 which will give us plus minus 2i, imaginary numbers, complex numbers. Now, in this case it's fairly simple. All we have to do is look at the formulas that are given. Usually all textbooks have it. Multiple complex roots. So, in this case these are the roots, the solutions that we're going to be following. All we're going to have to do basically is just plug it in. Here's just a complex number just so we can get an idea of what value goes where. So let's follow it. Take the first root, r1 equals 2i. That's going to give us the first solution, the part, first part of the solution, the y1, equals e alpha t cosine beta t. Now the alpha is my real part, beta is the imaginary one, real part is 0, so this cancels out, e to the 0 is 1, and here cosine, the beta is will be my 2, cosine 2 theta, two, cosine 2 t, not beta. <laughs> now, let's take the second root, there you go, now, r2 minus 2i, the second root from here, now for this one we're using y2 equals e alpha t sine beta t, okay, and this will, again, alpha 0 sine beta t, the beta is the 2, so I'm going to take it, plug it in, sine 2 t. So to get our solution, all we have to do, y equals y1 plus y2, simply plug it in, and make sure you put the constants in front of it, so C1 times cosine 2t plus C2 times sine 2t. And that's it. Pretty short.